There are so many new beauty releases happening all the time, so we gathered some of the most hyped products from April to test for ourselves. We have two new face products from One Size Beauty, the Cheek Clapper 3D Blush Trio Palette and the Made For Shade Bronze and Sculpt Trio. Let's get into the Sculpt Palette first. I used a mix of the bottom two shades and they brought some much needed warmth to my face. They blend really nicely and smoothly. These are nice bronzers, but I think the real star of the show here is the blush palette. Like if I had to pick one of these two palettes to splurge on, it would definitely be this one. These are three different formulas, a flex cream, a full impact matte, and a hyper sheen. I went in with a very light hand because these are really pigmented and they just look really beautiful and smooth on the skin. The color can be built up or toned down as much as you want, which I think is my favorite thing about this palette. There are just so many different ways you can use it and all the formulas work so nicely together. Rare Beauty just released the Positive Light Tinted Moisturizer with SPF 20. I was so happy that this had SPF in it. The formula felt thicker and looked more full coverage than I expected. Also, this was a shade or two too light for me, so ignore that. It does sheer out as you apply it, so it looks less like a foundation and more like a tinted moisturizer. I applied the rest of my powder makeup on top and honestly wasn't loving how it looked. I felt like it kept building up in the dry patches around my nose and just looked a little too textured. But then I redid my makeup with all cream products on top of this tinted moisturizer and it looked so much better, just super dewy and fresh, so I much prefer using it with cream products. This is the NYX Wonder Stick Cream Blush Contour and it's literally a blush stick that you use to contour your face. There's a lighter shade that's meant to be used as a blush and a deeper shade that you contour with. I have never contoured with blush, so I was really intrigued by this. I applied the darker shade wherever I would normally contour and the lighter shade above it and then blended it out. This isn't the easiest formula to blend, but I eventually got it looking pretty good. I didn't hate the blush contour look. I just think this blush formula isn't great and I've definitely tried better at the drugstore. I haven't experimented much with correctors, but I saw a TikTok recommending this one, the Benefit Boing Bright On Brightening Under Eye Concealer. It has this peachy color to counteract the darkness underneath the eyes. I tested it out before applying makeup and I could see a difference already. So then I applied a small amount, blended that, then applied concealer on top and I think it did make a difference. My under eyes looked brighter than usual. I definitely noticed less darkness than when I just used concealer and the product didn't do anything weird to the concealer I applied on top. It didn't make it patchy or bunch up, so I'm actually really into this. I realized later you're just supposed to wear this on its own, which I clearly did not do, but I was still happy with the results. Charlotte Tilbury came out with a new Pillow Talk collection inspired by its popular lipstick in Pillow Talk, so I picked up a few of the products. I already love the Beauty Light one, so I knew that I would love this Pillow Talk shade. It's super glowy and makes the skin look so beautiful. The Multi Glow Highlighter was a new product for me. The packaging is so pretty. I didn't even want to touch it, but I did. It has this almost soft blurring effect that looks really nice, and it's not glittery at all, just like a soft glow. The product I was most excited to try was actually the mascara in the shade Dream Pop. It's described as a berry brown shade. I don't think I've ever tried a colored mascara before, but I applied it like I normally would and I actually love the color. The formula isn't my favorite and neither is the brush, but I think the color was actually flattering on my eyes. It's supposed to bring out the amber in brown eyes. I don't know if that's what's happening, but it did make my eyes look really sparkly, which I love. I saw that Flower Beauty had this spotlight liquid highlighter that looked a lot like the Charlotte Tilbury light wand in the Pillow Talk shade, so I really wanted to compare the two to see if it was a dupe. The shades aren't exactly the same, but they're super close. Both are so easy to blend out and look more natural and dewy on the skin than a powder highlight does. I think the Charlotte Tilbury one is a bit more reflective than the Flower Beauty one, but the effect is definitely similar. The Flower Beauty one looks just as beautiful on the skin and it's almost $30 cheaper, so I highly recommend this if you haven't gotten a chance to try the light wands. I'm an East Coast girl, so I was so excited when I saw that e.l.f. collabed with Duncan. This was such a fun, cute idea. This huge donut sponge was so ridiculous, I had to try it out. It's big even before wetting and it was pretty hard at first, but it doubled in size once I wet it and it became a lot softer and squishier. I'm not gonna lie, applying foundation with this is kind of great because it's so big, it literally applies foundation in five seconds. I decided to use it to apply all my other makeup and the size does get more difficult to work with the more precise you're trying to be. You can see that I was accidentally spreading my blush up way too high, but I think overall the makeup came out looking good. Obviously, this is more like a novelty than a super useful makeup tool, but it comes in handy if you wanna apply makeup quickly. 
I also ordered the Glaze for Days lip gloss set because I cannot resist an orange gloss, let alone an orange gloss that smells like glazed donuts. This is a really nice gloss. The color is pretty sheer, but for the price point, I think this formula is super glossy and comfortable on the lips. Thank you.